So I've just finished this one off. This is Vesda's new tooled SU25. Like many, we've been waiting years for a new tooled SU25. Uh, I'll just share a few things I noticed on this build. The uh, kit is very modular, <clears throat> which created a few problems with uh, fit issues. A couple of areas needed uh, a bit of cleanup, filling and sanding around the uh, engines to fuselage area, mainly. Uh, it requires 40 gram for nose weight and that is a lot of weight. So I don't know how the uh, nose gear will stand the test of time with that sitting on it. The uh, paint call outs are for Tamiya, which I find interesting from a Russian company, um, but some of them are incorrect. So you need to check before just grabbing the bottle uh, to find some information off Mr. Google to get correct colours. You get six uh, options out of the box for markings. Four of them are Soviet. There's one Bulgarian and one Czech Republic. Landing gear. Uh, instructions are a bit vague in this area. There's a lot of parts in the landing gear and the main gear. And it's uh, a matter of just take your time and work out where they actually sit. Overall, I enjoyed the build. It took longer than what I thought. It got put aside a couple of times because I... Got a bit annoyed with it, but um, would I build another one? Possibly, because there's so many markings that you can do for the frog foot. Um, but I'm more inclined to hang off a bit and see if uh, Trumpeter use the Kitty Hawk molds and release their version of it. So I'd be interested to have a go at one of them. But it's new tooled and it's the best we have, so very buildable, just a lot of work.